The Tea Party holding rallies in three major cities, and it happened on Sunday, yes, yesterday, showing their size, energy, and political influence uh, throughout. Listen to Dick Army. There's only one power on this earth big enough to destroy this country, and that is the, the United States federal government. It's time to trim it down, make it efficient and effective at its necessary task, and get it out of the business that it's not supposed to be into. Well, several candidates backed by the Tea Party have already had success in the primaries, as you probably know. But will the party be able to maintain its influence and have a major impact come November in the general? Joining us right now for a fair and balanced debate, Erica, Eric Odom, and Tea Party organizer and founder of Liberty.com, a grassroots organization pro uh, project of Americans for New Leadership. And Erica Payne joins us, too. She's the founder of the, uh, of the Agenda Project. Hi. First, Eric, to you. The crowd was smaller. Does that mean some of the fuel is going out of the fire? <laughs> Actually, the, the fire is much, much bigger now than it was uh, in 2009. It's just that instead of attending rallies, folks are out there doing door-to-door uh, -door canvassing, uh, traditional get-out-the-vote, especially out in Delaware where a primary is coming this Tuesday. Uh, and we're seeing more and more meetings happening at the local level, uh, far more than there were last year. You just don't see them in much in a flamboyant way like you do with the big rallies, or like you did with the big rallies last year. And a lot of those, uh, Erica, a lot of those people, the same people, just in Washington at the Glenn Beck rally. And I guess they got to work. They have jobs, and it's right. another weekend. But Erica, what do you? What is the message of the Tea Party, which consists of so many different people, with so many different organizations just tied together? What's the message you want people to get from this? Is this for uh, Eric? Erica. Oh, <laughs> sorry, confusing the I'll word. put the A on. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I mean, I think the main thing that people need to walk away from is really looking at, you know, here's the Tea Party, and it seems like it's different than Republicans are, but is it really any different? And if the Tea Party gets put into office, are they going to do exactly the same thing that Republicans did when they were in control of the whole government under George Bush for six years? That, to me, is the question that people have to ask. And let's see, because right now, as well as they've done in the primary with monster ups, uh, uh, upsets with uh, Sharon Angle, Rand Paul, and of course you have Ken Buck and now Christine O'Donnell making noise over in Delaware, people wonder, Eric, are you ca could the Tea Party be costing Republicans seats? I, I don't think so. I mean, I, that's, that's a great question. Uh, but the energy that we're seeing, especially here in Nevada, uh, with this Senate race, if you look, if you look back in June at the energy that came out three weeks before the primary, where Sharon Engel was uh, behind by double digits, she came up and won by double digits in that primary because of the amount of energy that was able to come out. To, in Las Vegas, she dominated Sue Loudon uh, in the polls, and I, I think the energy is out there. It's on the side of the Republicans. The Tea Partiers know. Uh, your previous question is, uh, or, or, or Eric, as Erica mentioned, you know, people want to see if the Tea Partiers are going to be different. The, the Tea Partiers who, or candidates who are winning right now are different and they have tremendous support and energy behind them uh, and I think we're going to see that carry right through to November and beyond. Well, I think that you could be right. You know, I had a lot of respect for the Tea Party when they started. They were formed um, really in reaction to the Wall Street bailouts, which I know I and a lot of other Americans were really distressed about. I was really sad, though, and have, mm -hmm. like, subsequently lost sort of, the, sort of the charm is off of the Tea Party for me, because when Wall Street reform came around to try to pull some of those market principles back into Wall Street, you know, the Tea Party was nowhere to be found. And so I feel like they haven't lived up to what they were started to do and they're going to turn out to just be another right. Republican, you know, just right. another Repu show for the Republicans. I think I just, just got to give Eric a chance to answer that. Uh, maybe they weren't nowhere to be found because these were Democratic reforms, right? Well, uh, they're nowhere to be found because you're talking about more regulation. Right now, Tea Partiers, uh, including because myself, we don't trust the government. Because you don't think Wall Street had enough government. regulations as it was, no, and that's no, how we, they write the economy? No, that's, that's not Real it quick, at all. We don't, trust, we, don't trust, we don't trust this government to write regis legislation so in any shape Goldman or form Sachs right now because they betrayed the us on all fronts. I mean, that doesn't Absolutely make any not. sense to me. We just don't trust this government, and, right. and our goal right now Lloyd is to replace them with new candidates Goldman Sachs more? and new well, Tea Partiers. Erica, new uh, what he's trying to say we is just he didn't like the government. reforms as they were gone. Uh, Lloyd Blankfein didn't write the reforms. Eric Odom and Erica Payne, thanks so much. Thanks. We'll see what happens. It's going to be Thank interesting you. to see in the general, write the history of the Tea Party right there.